Oh, it's really steep. Don't do that if you are afraid of heights or claustrophobic. This car is crazy! Take a big bite. Hi everyone, it's me. <laughs> Welcome to Hungary. It's a little messy behind me. Don't mind that. We are in Hungary, which is so exciting. We've been here for like five days actually already, but I haven't done an intro to this video, so I'm doing it now. <laughs> so yeah, we've been here for a little while. We've been doing things, eating a lot. We've also been meeting, oh, by the way, fiance, special announcement, is now called Huffy. <laughs> what do you feel about being Huffy? It's too early in the morning to answer questions. <laughs> we've decided to call Huffy Huffy because husband sounds too formal and hubby sounds too like pet namey or something. I don't know, I'm weird. But we're gonna call him Huffy from now on. It's too early for Huffy. It's 7.31 in the morning. I decided to start an intro today because we are going to Eger, which apparently I've been saying wrong this whole time. I've been saying Eger, and Huffy has been very annoyed at me for saying Eger, but it's Eger. I did take some videos earlier in the week that I'm going to show you guys, but I didn't like really talk to the camera really until now. So I'll show you what we've been up to for the past couple days, and then we're going to head to Eger this morning, and we're staying there for one night before we come back to Budapest. That's it. Welcome to Hungary. This is so fun. <laughs>
off to the big city. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it would probably hurt your butt if you had to like ride the whole line though. Bring your own pillow. Wow, this is passion fruit ice cream. Never had this before. It's so good. That's cool. It's Waltz of the Blue Danube. They're playing Waltz of the Blue Danube by the Danube. Oh, that is lovely. I love those dumplings, it's so good. So that's for soup. Found Colleen Hoover in Hungary. And we do it all again and again and again and again. Again and again and again and again. found something that looks to be a bookstore in a truck. So we're gonna go look. <laughs> Everything is so pretty here in Egger. This is our Airbnb in Egger. Huffy, what would you like to do? Castle. Yeah, castle. So, I don't know if you guys know, but Jamie likes me to film from a really low angle. Not film, photos. Oh, only photos? Okay. Film from a high angle. Photos from a low no, angle. Film from from a normal So many cute babies in this country. It's like what Maeve put on Aelin. I see Kurtosh Clutch. I get Kurtosh Clutch. That smells so good.
Take a big bite. Come on, take a big bite. A big one? Yeah, big bite. Coming to this building, we thought it was a museum, but we're very confused now. We've been told to walk up six flights of stairs, so we'll see if it gets us there. It's a very pretty place to get lost. I think we found it. <laughs> If you do these every day, you'll get abs of stone in two weeks. Rock hard abs. <laughs> the goal this morning is to get up there and be like them. <laughs> We've got 98 steps to the top. Okay, let's go. Let's count them. One, two, Oh, it's really steep. Oh. Four, <laughs> six, five, six, seven, eight, 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 Almost there. Yeah. <laughs> 90. Oh, oh, 97. 98. It was actually 98. Oh. 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 oh my gosh. Oh. We made it. <laughs> it's a journey. Yeah. It's so claustrophobic for me. It was a little scary. Yeah. I'm scared I'm going to drop my phone now. <laughs> <sighs> Don't do that if you are afraid of heights or claustrophobic because <laughs> that was a little scary and I'm not usually afraid of heights or like that claustrophobic but <laughs> Look, it's in the background here. <laughs> that, was, there you go. that was a lot. I don't know if my like video caught how tight that was to like squeeze into but it was a little scary. <laughs> and there's no like railing to hold on to when you're going up the stairs so you're just like grabbing on the walls <laughs> like hoping that like if you fall or trip like you'll be able to grab something and stop yourself from like falling all the way back down it looks a lot harder for fiance too because he's like taller but it was an experience <laughs> one more ice cream to go <laughs> Come the stars, come to shine when it's dark From so far away, show us where we are Look you guys, I found another one! <laughs> Good morning! We are back in Budapest today So yeah, we actually got back yesterday But for the rest of the day, we arrived around like 4 p.m. We just went to like the grocery store, picked up some snackies, and just watched like Hungarian TV for the rest of the night. So there was nothing to video or vlog or anything. We've been watching this show called Power of Love. That's like the translation of the title. I have no idea how it works because I can't understand what anyone is saying, and Huffy is just like translating it like 
beside me, like line for line the best he can in lifetime. But it seems to be some sort of a dating show. <laughs> we keep calling it Love is Blind, but it's not Love is Blind. Like they can see each other and stuff. But yeah, it's just been very entertaining while we're here. It seems to be on like every day at 7 p.m. And we've just been watching it. Like not every day, but we've watched it quite a bit. <laughs> but yeah, today's plan is exciting. We're doing something that fiance, oh, you're not fiance. We're doing something that Huffy is very excited for. He is very into cars, especially like older cars. So we are renting a Trabant this morning for about two hours and he's gonna be able to drive it around. I don't know the history of the Trabant. I don't know much about cars, but I don't know. It just seems to be a very historic, Car. Like we've seen it in a bunch of like retro communist museums that we've been to now So it seems to be quite iconic. I think it's pretty cute looking <laughs> like it's a pretty cute looking car So yeah, that's what we're gonna do this morning. That's it <laughs> <So cute. laughs> Wow car is crazy that I just purchased. This is mine and I'm just gonna drive it around. Oh, I can't open the door. <laughs> I just, yeah, that just, that happens. My car's a little sassy. I'm just gonna get in and I'm gonna, I'm gonna drive away in my cute little car. I'm just kidding. I don't know how to drive this car. <laughs> Transmission's over here. This, yeah, I don't know how to do that stuff though. I definitely wore blue today to match it. Yeah, what's it like? It's a little sus. <laughs> It feels like it's gonna just like fall apart <laughs> like at every second it's, like very bumpy You feel like every bump everything jangles. It's very very loud You can like feel the engine working as hard as it can like we came up this hill. <laughs> it's trying its best our little trubby ah, Little trubby. Can we go to the lookout? Yeah The good thing about having a car though is that we were able to drive up to, I don't even know where we are. We were supposed to go to this lookout that the car rental company recommended, but it looks like it's closed today for whatever reason. Maybe they're doing repairs, I don't know. But we just found these little hikey, not hikey, like walkie trails up here. We probably would never have been able to come here if we didn't have a car, even a scary car. <laughs> That's where we're supposed to go. It looks like there's gates around it, but it looks like there are some stairs where you can like go almost all the way up. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. This looks pretty cool. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. Bye, Trevi. I would run a, a Trabant on for Johnny Depp. <laughs> yeah, apparently Johnny Depp is in Budapest right now. Filming something. We are a little hungry from that car ride. <laughs> and so we decided to go to McDonald's. It's a special McDonald's. I'll show you what it looks like when we get there. But I just like to do this thing where I go to McDonald's every country I go to or I try to because every country has like a different menu or like country specific menu items. We're gonna try some Hungarian McDonald's items today in a special McDonald's. <laughs> I think we found it. Oh my gosh, it looks special already. Oh, this is a nice patio, but we're here for the inside. <laughs> What the heck? This is a McDonald's. <laughs> okay, these are our goodies. I'm so excited to try them. But look at the view. Oh, there's a McCafe up there too. Oh my goodness. This is the fanciest McDonald's I have ever been to. Okay, so in McDonald's, Hungary, there are pork burgers. I know in Hungary, a lot of pork is consumed. It's like the main meat. And I've never tried pork from McDonald's. So I got this spicy pork burger. It's called spicy Shertesh. Shertesh burger. 
it looks like. Cheers! <laughs> That's so good. It has like a spicy sauce. It's not very spicy, but it tastes good. Oh. Yeah, it's called the Gusto Greg. <laughs> And those of you who follow me on Instagram know by now that Huffy's name is actually Greg. So we're like, you have to get the Greg burger. This is so good though. It tastes like a like a breakfast sausage kind of. Oh, and there's like caramelized onions on it. Next up we have camembert baitan. It's like little fried camembert like cheese nuggets. And I think it comes with this sauce, a fognac. Marto Gatosh sauce? Blueberry! Oh! So the camembert bites come with a blueberry sauce. Oh. Camembert bite. <laughs> mm. Wow. Mm. It's, so good. it's like a, a very like squishy cheese on the inside. Kind of like a cheese curd. Third thing we got is the Maestro curly fries. Or not curly fries. Waffle fries, and I got this Erosh Pista Pista sauce. Oh, there's like chunkies in the sauce. Mm, this sauce is actually spicy, it's like a spicy mayo. You would see like flecks of pepper in there. resting in the condo we decided we're gonna take we're gonna take today a little easy we're gonna go to a thermal bath that is nearby there's like a bath and a pool and saunas so we're just gonna do that for the rest of today i'm gonna leave my phone here in the condo just because you too i'm not gonna film there you are too huffy i'm leaving my phone in the condo too <laughs> good everyone's leaving their phones in the condo we're gonna have a relaxing little late afternoon to evening. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> this building looks like a big mushroom. Woo! Wow, look at this. <laughs> Apparently, I can make this rolly thing that makes the Harry Potter theme song, so <laughs> I'm gonna do this. <laughs> so I put the pieces line up. I need a red long. Like that. Okay, let's try this thing. on a fancy date today to Gundo.
Oh, hi Sage. Alright you guys, as you can see, I am back home. I am reunited with my little kitties. Oh. I am exhausted. We took an overnight flight home. Our flight was at like 6 a.m. So we had to get at the airport at like 3.30 a.m. And it's just been a lot. <laughs> it is now like afternoon, like around 12.30 uh, Toronto time. So we have the whole day ahead of us that I'm gonna have to fight not falling asleep so I don't have like too bad of jet lag, but I'm so tired. <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to say that I hope you enjoyed this video of my travels in Hungary. So yeah, you guys know that I have been to Budapest before. I've actually been twice before, so obviously on this trip we didn't see a lot of the main sights and attractions that most people normally do when they're in Budapest, but I've already done all those and didn't feel the need to do most of them again. So yeah, it was fun going and doing other things, seeing different parts of Hungary outside of Budapest, and I really enjoyed it. We also did spend, as I mentioned, a lot of our time, especially at the beginning of the trip, meeting Hafi's family, his grandparents, cousins, etc. because I have never met them in person before, so that was really nice. And then on our last day in Budapest, we actually spent the evening at Hafi's grandpa's house, and we had dinner, I guess, there. It was like an early dinner and that's how we spent our last evening and now we are home <laughs> That's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it If you did, please leave me a like and a comment If you don't know what to comment down below, let me know where you would like to see me travel next It won't happen for a while <laughs> because budget and time But yeah, I would love to hear some ideas of other places to go next year, maybe <laughs> If you like me, subscribe, do that bell thing and I will see you in the next one. Bye!